This video is sponsored by Smashbox. Oh my god! Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be trying on and swatching some brand new, just hit the shelves, metallic liquid lips. We have 17 shades to swatch. I'm gonna try on a bunch of them. I'm really curious about the metallic shades because those are, in my mind, what are the most eye-catching and beautiful. They're technically a liquid lipstick, but in my mind, I feel like in cosmetics, we are trained now to think that a liquid lipstick is automatically a matte formula, whereas this from Smashbox feels like a melted, liquefied, delicious, thick, creamy, like full saturated color liquid lip. It feels like if you were to chop a bullet lipstick, boil it up, maybe not boil it, but you get what I'm saying. If it were to melt down and just be thick and liquidy, that's what this is. And it is freaking gorgeous. So what is on my mouth right now is called Mob Squad. And this actually was readily available at Sephora. I purchased this one myself. I wanna show you guys. Do we see that I have doubles? So this one you can get your hands on right now, but the full collection launches on the 15th. They have 17 shades, just to reiterate that, not just the three that you see on Sephora.com. The three that they had available initially were this one, Mob Squad. They had Petal Metal and Brains and Bronze. I actually saw these in store in Marina Del Rey here in California, swatched them and fell in love with the formula. So that's why I'm excited to share and swatch the entire collection with you guys. This is a gel formulation, so it doesn't get too sticky, even though it is that liquefied lipstick that is really, really saturated in pigment. I'm so distracted. I see a pile of makeup and I'm just like, I don't even wanna talk. I just wanna like start putting the product on. Focus, Tati, focus. So these are really cool. They have four layers of pearl pigments. What that means means is this type of a metallic look is really going to give you just a light grabbing type of a look on the lip. It is going to make everything look fuller and juicier and it really does. I do so much enjoy this product. So the applicator on these guys is really fantastic. It's a little bit different. It's a cone tip applicator. It has a nice kind of banana shape to it, but the tip itself is really triangular and pointed. The reason that I like that is because you can get right up in this business here, no problem at all. In fact, I'm gonna use this shade right here, Petal Metal, to just kind of enhance what is already enhanced with the metallic lip that I'm already wearing, but sometimes more is more. So I'm gonna put this just in the center of the lip to show you guys what it can do and how easy this apula would cater. Learn English. How easy the applicator is to use. So I'm literally just like cushioning it right in the center. Do you see? It just gives this subtle, gorgeous highlight. This particular shade would actually be beautiful on top of any of your other lipsticks if you wanted to add just like a little kiss of metallic. You don't wanna go like full metal lip. You could definitely be on trend and try it out without this huge crazy commitment of like a full foiled look. You could actually take a shade like this and just dab it on the center of your lip and even pat it out with your fingertip and you're gonna get a beautiful effect that makes your lips look larger and more juicy and you can kind of get in on the trend without going full blown like this guy right here, which I am gonna try on. So the the other nice thing about the packaging that I notice, I mean, it's lip gloss packaging. There's nothing that I can sit here and be like, okay, so we have a circular tube. This has never been done before. This has been done before. It's a tube. You open it up like so. You have your doe foot applicator. The shape of the cone tip is kind of cool. But something that I was noticing is I really enjoy, you get a cool little jewel tip on here so you can identify what is what. And then if you have them just in like a little jar, which sometimes that's how I display some of my favorite lippies, I just put them in a little jar. And it's nice to see this little color on the top without having to pick it up and look at it. I don't know, it's those extra little touches for me that make a big difference when I am really zeroing in on what makes a product stand out. So let's go through the rainbow of colors. And when I say rainbow, I mean like 
Hello, we're gonna try these on. Let's go with the first one that I have that is the lightest out of the metallic bunch. This is Petal Metal. And again, you can highlight the crap out of any of your other lip products. I love this one. It is my favorite of the bunch. Next, we will take a peek at Mob Squad, which is what I am wearing right now. I really enjoy that one. This one I'm actually really curious to try on because I think it's one of those that might look good. This is called Brains and Bronze. This is beautiful though. I just enjoy looking at this color so much oh my god it's so beautiful and chocolatey it reminds me of like metallic hot chocolate <laughs> this one right here is called foiled brat and i think this is beautiful i actually believe that i will wear this one a ton i feel like moving into spring i always wear berries like i just like brighter magenta berry tones and this is so pretty and metallic-y but wearable i just love this so much. Look at that. Then we have a shade that I will probably never wear, but if it looks good on you, then you do you. It's a beautiful shade. I feel like this might be better mixed in with other shades. I just feel like it's literally so coppery. I mean, look at that pigment. If that is something that you're after, then go for it. The formula, pigmentation, all of that is so good. All of these are very, very smooth. That's the other thing. Normally when you do a metallic lip, you will put your lips together and you will feel so much grittiness. This has none. So it's not overly sticky because it is a gel formula. <laughs> and the color that I actually don't think I will ever wear is called Haterade. Um, you guys know I'm still gonna keep it real with products that I like and don't. So some of these shades I love, some of them are not for me. Um, but I don't think that you can look at an entire collection when a company launches and think, oh my God, all of these are made just for my skin tone and they're gonna look excellent on me. So please keep in mind when you see the drop-ins, if you're like, dear Lord, I can't believe she liked that. I like the formula. Not all the colors are gonna look great on me. Moscow Mule. This one is a little more wearable than Haterade. I do like the name of that, Haterade, that's funny. But still, it's just not for me. Now this one, oh yes. I will have fun with this one right here. I love this. This is called Crimson Chrome, and I think this is such a beautiful red. It is very blue undertoned, and I am swiping that like barely and just like bam. It's on, you don't have to work hard for this. It's just going to apply effortlessly. It's gonna give you that really rich, juicy amount of shine. I love this one. And then we have something that maybe I'll wear for Halloween. That's just me, don't be offended by me saying that, but silver lip gloss on the day-to-day -day is just not, not, I mean, can you imagine? But I do enjoy looking at lip art and different Instagram photos and women that can really pull off that edgy look. I love it. It's just not, it's, it's not for Tati, no. God, I really wish that I could wear this right now. Like if I could press like the time machine button and go back to me being in high school, this would so be something that I would experiment with. I went through a short phase in my life. It wasn't even in high school, it was right after high school where I had dark, long black hair and I had neon blue highlights that were actually this color. It looked really, really cool. I have forever been trying to find photos. Sadly, my mom's house burnt down when I was about 23 and a lot of our family photos kind of went up in flames and I don't have a ton of pics on hand. I wish I did, but I just don't. But if I ever come across one, I will be sure to post it somewhere on Instagram or here on my channel, but oh, I wish you guys could see it. It looked so cool. It was really terrible to maintain. It just kind of, made my hair green after washing a few times and I'd have to redo it a lot. And then I was just like, I give up. But it was really, really pretty. And that's what this color reminds me of. It's so beautiful. This is called Iced Out. <gasps> Can you imagine an eyeshadow of that color too? Oh, I just love that color. It's like the most bright, but dark and mysterious blue. I love it. Also, I wanna let you guys know, tonight on Style Code Live, I will not be there. I won't be in the live chat. I'm taking a little bit of a break and I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any confusion of you guys going and watching and being like, hey, where's Tati? So I'm not gonna be there tonight, just heads up for you all. Okay, we're gonna go to the creams now. So I have swatched up all of these metallics. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so let's move into the more cream shades. These are more a day-to-day 
kind of easy, no effort, matches with every eye look, every look that you're wearing kind of a thing. Something that I noticed initially just playing around with these is that they don't bleed outside of the lip line. One of my tests with a more liquid lipstick that is not matte is if it bleeds outside of the lip line or if it does the kind of stringy thing, which it does not do that. It does not bleed outside the lip line and some other brands out there create a similar product where it actually will get quite messy and after about even 20 minutes it will start kind of migrating and then it's so pigmented that you go to wipe it away and it creates a mess what's nice about these is that diamond like cone shaped applicator actually makes it very precise for you to apply they're pigmented enough to make it done in one swipe and then it doesn't bleed outside the lip that's why i love these so the colors here are very like everyday they're everyday wearable, everyday friendly. There's no blue cream or gray cream in this bunch, but let's go through the colors anyways. I have the shade Bad, which looks like something that I would wear every day of my life. Does that not just scream Tati? I know it's kind of like so basic, but I just love pinky, milky, beautiful tones like this. They're just easy to throw on. I don't like doing crazy artsy makeup every day of my life. Sometimes I just wanna slap some makeup on and go. And these kind of more neutral tone shades just get you there quicker without having to overthink everything. So I love that one. It's a little more on the warm side than this one right here, which is pink drink. This one is much more cool toned, really pretty. Don't have a bad thing to say about it. This one right here, Mauve Wife. This one is much more dark. It's mauve and also neutral. I like all three of those. And then we have the shade Girl Please. This is something that I normally would not love, but more recently I've actually been into these kind of chocolatey neutrals that can kind of make you look a little bit sick if you're not paying attention to the rest of your makeup. So I feel like you do have to put a little more thought in with this kind of a color, but it's really pretty. I love it. And if you have deeper skin tones, this is gonna be gorgeous on you. Okay, then we have the shade Rose Before Bros. Is that rose before bros or just rose? I feel really redundant being like, and this one's pretty too, but these are all very gorgeous, well thought through shades. They're gonna look good on a variety of different skin tones. They're very universally flattering. This one right here, Brick Trick, also very gorgeous. And I am running into the danger zone wearing a white shirt doing this yet again. All right, we're gonna make it, we're gonna do this. This shade Crush It, I think is very um, much my spring toned kind of a thing. You know how I was saying I like berry tones? I'm gonna put this right next to the metallic berry. Look at that. You could even do like this one on the full lip and then just do a little metallic in the center. That would look really, really beautiful. And last but not least, we have Bad Apple. Gotta love that name. I think that's a really fun name. And this does match the same tone as the red metallic. I have long been a fan of mixing and matching textures, you know, doing a very matte blush with a lot of highlight, doing a matte eye look with like a lot of metallic in the inner corner. You can do the same thing on your lips. You can do like a glossy cream with like a hit of metal on the center lip. It will look cool. I love it. I dare you to try that out. I hope you guys enjoyed me testing out this new range of product and swatching up my arm, trying some of them on. Let me know what color you think was the best on me and which one I should maybe never wear in public. You can let me know that too. My feelings won't be hurt. Um, I love you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope to bring you more full swatch try on collections in the future. I love you guys and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah!